so next we are going to talk about organization structure i told you about you giving a name for the organization and first we need to understand organization structure after we understand organization structure general concept we will go into understanding about classes types of classes all this all these are very very important and when you are uh, just having the good knowledge about these facts you will be able to work on in development better perform better and here you go now i'm going to explain your organization structure by going through a pain diagram see typically on the high level you have organization structure having three different levels you copy paste it So this is said to be organization and this is said to be divisions and these are said to be units. Okay, just listen to me carefully. I'm not simply saying this. It is very simple when you go through it now and later we will compare the classes with organization structure. Okay, and here you go. I'm going to connect accordingly organization and divisions are connected divisions will be connected directly to organization and here you are going to connect it to unit suppose if you are an employee in an organization you will be working under some organization definitely there will be a hierarchy for your organization right you might be coming under some specific division in that division there will be specific units like that the same way a business has to be structured in a proper way if you don't structure in a proper way today tomorrow you have to struggle a lot okay and here you go let's take an organization of what is the organization that insurance only let's take an organization of hmm? and over. i know insurance okay there can be subdivisions there can be subunits under units but we don't bother about it now under insurance organization you have different divisions what are the divisions division of auto and the division of human and the division of let's say property okay property so now here under auto you have personal vehicle means the vehicle that belongs to an individual under auto again you may have commercial vehicle commercial vehicle is related to a it can be more than one vehicle even commercial vehicle and under human you may have health insurance and you may have life insurance and here under the division of property home or maybe any commercial building here also personal property commercial property like that you can go okay personal property or commercial property like that you can have so many subdivisions and all uh, created here okay so let's go ahead now see when you are going to structure your structure your business to have the business components defined you need to structure it in a proper way one of the approach that we see in the reality is this one only the same way pega also has the structural definition for organization and division and unit Division may have subdivisions, units may have subunits, and so on. Now, look at here. If there are any specific components, business components, okay, that you are going to use in your business only to one specific line of business, only to one specific line of business, then you are going to place that at the unit level. These are very specific to the respect to business process. My business process is vehicle insurance. So vehicle insurance, this is business process. My business process is commercial vehicle insurance. This is commercial vehicle. And the business process is only life insurance here. So life insurance related specific business components, we will be placing at unit level. 
and there can be common components right so overall in the personal vehicle and commercial vehicle both insurances are like belong to auto division common components of these two will be placed at auto division common components of health and life will be placed at human division common components of home and maybe commercial complex and all you will be placing at property so overall all of these are insurances right there will be some very common components across different uh, um, uh, divisions so all those you will be placing at organization so the common features which are needed uh, needed throughout the business entity throughout the business entity we will be placing at at this level see let's take for example um let's take tata industry for example tata industry suppose you have tata steel if tata steel decides we wanted to hike the salary of our employees five percent so that will be applicable to everyone who is working in tata steel is that going to be applicable for tata motors employees that is not applicable for tata motors employees only tata steel that particular division that means when a rule is applied at tata steel that impacts tata steel and its units but not with other divisions suppose tata group itself is passing a rule okay ratan tata is passing a rule at the tata industry everyone is going to get a 5% hike what does it mean tata motors tata steel tata aviation everyone will be getting 5% hike in their salary at the higher level if you are creating anything that will be accessible everywhere throughout the business at the division level if you are creating a business component that will be accessible at the division and below units at the unit level if you create then that will be accessible only to specific unit understand so that's the way the organization structure is being defined where our divisions are connected to organization and units are connected to the respective divisions just hold on okay so this is what about organization structure in general so while we are going to create the business components we will be placing following the same structure accordingly just keep in mind about this structure as of now 